brings deliverance and redemption, it is the, the grace that Christ has already laid down for us. Hallelujah. So it's about him. So when I say shout hallelujah, I know Sapele. Don't shout hallelujah as if they are forcing you to shout it. Or you are paying to shout the hallelujah. So when I say hallelujah, you shout because you have liver in your stomach. Am I talking to somebody right now? I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Is that big? Push it up for me. How many minutes do I have? I can just continue. <laughs> I should just continue. <laughs> I have gone through the archives of life. I've studied and understood. That there is one thing that every man meets and submits to. One thing that every living being in time gets to and is conquered. No matter your wealth, no matter your power, no matter how much of influence you carry. When you meet this particular adversary, you submit. Wait, wait, wait. And this adversary is called death. Everything in time has an expiring date. It's called death. Everything in time has a, a date of oblivion, going into extinction, going into non-existence. It is called death. Every wealthy man fears one day, the day he will die. I am a, the poor fear it, the rich fears it, the, 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 the children fears it, the grown ups fears it. It's the day they will die. So there is nobody that has been able to understand the mystery behind death. Death is a greatest adversary that has stood against all living things. Humans, animals, plants alike. Anything that is alive must face death. There is an answer that nobody can answer for you. That's the day you will die. Nobody can give you that answer. Why? It is it is, it is an adversary that has defeated all living things living in time. Study through history. There's a man in the American history, they don't joke with him. When, when his name is a legacy, push that keyboard up a little bit. His name is a legacy. Uh, his name was called... Uh, 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 Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus is the man that found the path route way to America. Uh, those of you that studied history, you may have read about it. Christopher Columbus found the first person that founded America, the landmass of America. He's the first person. They don't joke with him in America. But one day, Christopher Columbus came in contact with death. Till today, he's still dead. There was one man that had the power of wealth. He had so much money. Listen to me, everybody. I've started. He had so much money that when he goes into a nation, he does not stay in a hotel. When he goes into a nation, his castle is carried with him. A golden castle. His castle is fixed together and a hundred person will hold the castle while he sleeps. Uh, his name was called Gaddafi. Gaddafi had the power of money. Gaddafi controlled wealth in the whole of Africa. As a matter of fact, America was so scared of Gaddafi because he was about to make Africa greater than America. Gaddafi had the power of wealth. One day, Gaddafi met with death till today. He's still dead.
and there is a man that had a good name uh, you probably know him so well his name was called Nelson Mandela Nelson Mandela had the greatest influence on the planet the Queen of England does not shake anybody the Queen of England only waves at you that is only what she does but when the Queen of England met with Nelson Mandela he went to him and hugged him that proves that the man had the power of influence but one day Nelson Mandela met with that till today follow me I am a Kashata. There was a man that was a terror. He was so wicked that he one day he killed six million Jews. This man was so wicked that he would see a pregnant woman rip the baby from her womb and smash his head on the wall. Uh, this man, when he wants to come and defeat your country, he tells you before time. And he tells you that he's coming to your country. And you surrender your country to him. His name was called Adolf Hitler. He was wicked. The whole world feared him. One day, Adolf Hitler came in contact with them. Till today, And there was one man, they say he was a prophet. They say he went to the mountain. Some said the mountain came to him. People can die for him. People chant his name. Some say he fasted for 40 days. Some say he fasted for 49. Some say he will raise the dead. Some said many things about him. People right now die for him. People plant bombs on themselves because of this man. But one day, Mohammed met with death till today. He's still there. But there was a king prophesied in Isaiah. I am a, I feel it already here. There is power here. I am a Kasha. The Bible says unto us a child is born. Uh, and unto us a son is born. Given, and his government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor i feel it here the mighty god the everlasting father i am a Kashana, the prince of peace wait 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 uh, in the book of matthew this king was born in a manger nobody understood his bet he was born where the red goats nobody understood his bet at the age of 12 this king started teaching professors they say uh, maybe this one is another solomon uh, maybe this one is another one of the prophet at the age of 30 he started ministry the bible says he healed the sick he raised the dead. He did a lot of miracles. People compared him to Mandela. People compared him to Mohammed. Uh, maybe this is another Mohammed. Uh, maybe this is another prophet. Uh, maybe this is another this. But when he got to the age of 33, the Bible said he died. And when he died, the Bible said there was a stone that was rolled against his tomb. The Bible said people came to his tomb. The Bible says army gathered his tomb to make sure that the enemy that is called dead defeated him on the first day heaven was quiet on the second day heaven was quiet but on the third day the angels were angry in their spirit and the bible said that this king went to hell confronted death collected the keys and he came back to life he's the reason why we preach he's the reason why I would sing. It's the reason why we celebrate. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Run around this place and shout yes. Wait, wait, wait. 
I don't like the way you are cold. In the next one minute, you are going to scream from the depth of your being. You are going to run around this place. You are going to celebrate the life of Christ. You are going to run around. Everybody, give the Lord a shout. Hey! Hey! Shaka pala 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 Lift your hands all over. Lift your hands. There is an anointing here already. Kapa shobrande kopa shata. He has defeated death. He's the reason why we live. Ayamaka shomrande kopa sharama koprande sharama shata. Igezozo so pariote po sharatoka. Igafaro tamate kopate kalama koshara namasa. I don't know why. The Spirit of God is saying, let us shout. I don't know why the Spirit of God is saying, let us shout. I don't know why the Spirit of God is saying, let us shout. Run around, run around, run around, run around. Hey! Hey! Wait! Push it down. When we talk about shouting, people think shouting is for children. I hear preachers preach down on shouting. And they say these children, they just come and they just shout and they just scream. But God told me something very profound. Nothing miraculous, extraordinary happens without a shout. The Bible says that Jesus got to the top of Lazarus. And when he looked at Lazarus, the Bible says that he shouted with a laugh. Voice run around this place and give them. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. Another reason why you should shout is that when Vic is in view. Your shout is a testimony. The Bible says, for we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimonies. The shouting sign is the winning sign. In the next two seconds, you are going to shout a crazy shout. Some of you don't understand. The Bible says something very profound. Second Chronicles 15, 15. The Bible said, and the about three nations came against Israel. There were those that could fight. There were those that could pray. God said, no, I don't need them. Give me those that can shout. Put them in front. Let them scream. Let them shout. Let them celebrate. In the next two seconds, let me hear your shout. Lift your hands now, lift your hands. The power is here. The power of God is here. Lift your hands, all eyes closed. There is an anointing here. There is a fresh oil here. There is an anointing here. Love of God. Oh, it chases me down. Fight till I'm found. Leave the night tonight. See, I don't deserve it. I couldn't earn it. Still, you gave yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming. Love of God. 
My shadow you will light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after No wall you will kick down Lie you won't see down Coming after There's no shadow you will light up No shadow Mountain, mountain you Coming up Coming no wall you won't kick down. Come in up. Lift your voice. Sing it. There's no shadow you will lie it up. Come in up to me. Hey, no wall you won't kick down. Sing it louder. No shadow you will lie. Hey, no to you will cry. Coming up to me. Hey, no one you won't get down. Coming up to me. Lift your hands. Everywhere. No shadow you will lie. No shadow you will lie. Coming up to me. Hey, no No shadow you will lie down. No shadow you will lie down. No shadow you will lie down. Coming up for me. There's no one you won't kick down. No one you won't kick down. No one you won't kick down. Coming up for me. One more time. No shadow you will lie down. No shadow you will lie down. No shadow you will cry. Coming up for me. Hey, no one you won't kick down. No one you won't kick down. For one minute, lift your voice, lift your hands, and begin to speak in tongues. Lift your voice, lift your hands, begin to express yourself. Begin to express yourself. There is an anointing in this room. Begin to express yourself. Jesus is here. Ikafando Ikalamana koriande ko shamana ike pelendo karato halato ikaramata. We are the worshippers in this house. We are the worshippers in this house. There is an anointing already here. There is an anointing already here. Ikama shora mato lebo ko shamana to ikarama to le 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 ko ikapa shora mato le ikama shora na makasha ike ferona makasha brande ikapa lota le mota. We are not the worshippers here. We are not the worshippers here. You don't need a song. You don't need a song. Begin to roar in the spirit. 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 Begin to roar I never see anyone like you. You have turned my life around. I never see anyone like you. <laughs> you have turned my shame to go. <laughs> I never see anyone like you. I am. I never see anyone like you. I I never see anyone. Like you, Jesus, I, I never see anyone like you. Yeah. I never see anyone like you. Yeah. I never see any. Hey, I never see. I never see anyone like you. I never see. I never see anyone like you. I never see. I never see anyone like you. I never see. I never see. I never see anyone like you. 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 I
Worship. Worship is not a song. Worship is not the sound of the keyboard. Worship is not the melody of your voice. Take this mic down a little bit. I think it's too high. Worship is not the sound of the keyboard. But worship begins with a desire to see Jesus. And Paul said that I may know him and the power of his restoration. That's worship. You can pray because you have a problem. As a matter of fact, your problem can make a good prayer warrior out of you. The Bible said Hannah was expecting a child. And because of that child, Hannah became a compulsory prayer warrior. It was her problem that gave her the location of a prayer altar. Sometimes, praise is a function of happenings. Uh, you can jump and shout uh, because God gave you a new car. God gave you a house. Praise needs a reason to be activated. But you don't need to any reason to worship God. We worship God because we love God. We don't worship because we need anything from Him. We don't worship because we want anything from Him. God told me one of the greatest worshippers that ever lived in Bible history never wrote a song. His name was Job. The Bible said God gave Satan permission to take everything from Job. But Job got to a point. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me. The Bible says Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came before King Nebuchadnezzar and say, Oh King, we are not careful to reply you in this matter. Uh, we know that our God can save us from this fire. However, if he refuses to save us, we are ready to die. That's worship. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to forget about the neighbor close to you. I'd like you to forget about anybody in this auditorium. Forget about my face. I didn't come here to sing to you. I came here to lead you into the heavenlies. So in the next two minutes, I'd like you to begin to build an altar of worship. You can go anywhere in this hall. Wherever you can go, but stop looking at my face. You can look at heaven. You can close your eyes. You can lie on the ground. Whatever you can do right now in the next two minutes, I'd like you to begin to do it for Jesus. You can roll on the ground. You can kneel down. Whatever you can do right now. Whatever you can do for Jesus. Jesus. There is an anointing already here. There is host of angels here. Lift your voice. I did not say mama. I did not say talk as if there is something that is in your mouth. I said lift your voice. You can sing in your dialect. Echo Pasha. Jerusalem, 
there is an anointing already here. There is power here. There are angels all around. Ekafarion to kapashare. Ikamato shere koma teka. Ashara koya. Assemblies of God Church. My elder brother there has been a pastor for over 23 or 24 years now. So I grew up in church. Ayako Pashare! We are at the oceans. Choirs, get ready. The next, the next, the next session is for you. Get ready. When God called me to be a music evangelist, I needed a deeper revelation than what I have heard pastors preach. Because what carries you in ministry is not what you heard, it's the encounter you got. I am a kasha. Ushers, get ready. I see 45 angels here. So I started. I started asking God what is the meaning of worship 
uh, I've been told by preachers uh, that worship is, is submission to God. Uh, worship is, is singing and crying. Worship is rolling on the ground. Worship is total surrender. Yes, I know all that. But the hunger in me was not satisfied. I needed a deeper revelation of worship. I needed to understand what I was able, what, what I'm about to stick my life to for the rest of my life. I needed a deeper understanding of what worship is. And I started opening my Bibles. And the Lord started opening my eyes. In the hierarchy of the angels, there are nine classes of angels. Nine classes of angels. You might have heard of the cherubims and the seraphims. They are the two highest class of angels. The cherub is the second highest class, while the seraph is the first highest class. A cherub is an angel that has six wings, two wings with which he covers his face, two wings with which he covers his feet, and two wings with which he flies. And all over his body are eyes. The Bible called them the angels of all-knowing wisdom. They know everything. They are, they are the guardians of the throne of God. They are, they are not inside the throne of God. Though. They are outside. They guard the throne of God. Till today when God sent Adam and Eve out of the garden, it is one cherub that is keeping the garden. One. Not just one. But the highest class, I like them. They are called the seraphs. They are angels of light. They are made with light. They've got six wings, but they are made with light. They don't have a body or a form. They are light. They were made from the glory of God. So they are in the throne room of God because no man can see God and live. Only a cherub that was made, I mean a cherub that was made from the glory of God can actually see God and live. The meaning of the word seraph is called born, burning one. They are always burning from the place of worship but as i studied further i discovered that there was one other angel that was even superior so the seraphs his name was called lucifer the word lucifer means shining one burning one light actually every christian is luciferous in nature that's why the bible says you are the light of the world lucifer is not in the class of the cherub or the seraph lucifer got 12 wings the bible said god referred to lucifer as the seal of perfection in other words when god created lucifer he said lucifer i am done with creation i'm satisfied you are the seal of perfect i'm true God never attributes name to anybody, but he called Lucifer the morning star. Lucifer had the heart of God. When Lucifer went, Lucifer operated both as a seraph and a cherub at the same time. That was why he was able to control so much influence. Lucifer was in the throne room of God and outside the throne room of God. He was the angel in charge of worship. So he was in charge of heaven. God told me that actually worship is a concept that the human mind cannot begin to comprehend even one percent of it because when lucifer occupied that position he had so much influence today any singer in the world that knows what he's doing the people that control influence in this world they are singers they are singers in case you don't know the most influential person in nigeria is not Buhari. They are looking at me. The most influential person in Nigeria, some of you follow him. How many of you are Malians? Malians. 
You know him. What's his name? Huh? I can't call his name. But he controls 65 percent of the Nigerian population via influence. In one day, he brought a style and a slogan that made the whole of this country stand still. The whole of the youths follow him. When he does anything, he becomes style. <laughs> wow! Music. What is music? Music, as the world understands, is worship in heaven. They don't know how to translate it, so they leave it at music. That was why Lucifer could not comprehend the glory and the power that came. He didn't understand the office that he was in. It was bigger than him. And Lucifer lost it. When Lucifer lost it, God said, should I send a sheriff to occupy this position? I said, no, if Lucifer cannot comprehend it, a sheriff cannot. Should I send a seraph? He said, no, a seraph cannot comprehend this dimension. So what should I do? I, I like this part. And the Bible says, and God came to the earth. And the Bible says, and God looked at God. And God started discussing with God. And God said, let us make man. Not from my glory this time. Because I made Lucifer from my glory. I am not going to make man from my glory this time. I am going to make man from myself. That's why, wait, don't clap. That's why the Bible said he made us in his own image. After he made us, he looked at man. And he said, man is already like me, but he is not a living being. Okay, what do I do? Let me take a piece of me. Let me put it into him. And the Bible said he put in his nose on my nose. And he breathed a piece of him inside me. And Adam became a living soul. So you think that the devil is fighting you because you have a car. You are a joker. You think the devil is fighting you because you have one destiny somewhere. Uh, and they say you are going to be a billionaire tomorrow. So the devil does not want that. What do you concern the devil concern your billionaire? It means nothing to me. There is an office you don't know that you occupy. And the devil lost it. So he does not want you to go there. So everything around your circumstance, your foundation, your father's house, your mother's house, your uncle's house, a babalawo, mamalawo, uncle lawo, fighting everything around you is so that you can surrender your faith and miss the mark. So what is worship? Worship is not the prophetic. Worship is not the miraculous. So I don't understand when people call worship ministers gifted people. No, they are not gifted people. They are called people. Uh, how do I know? Worship is the fountain from which all gifts flow. The gift of prophecy, a worshiper can operate it. The gift of the miraculous, a worshiper can operate it. Because worship is the fountain from which all gifts flow. That is why when we get to heaven, we'll be singing Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Am I talking to somebody right now? Are you ready to worship for the next two minutes? Are you ready now? Are you ready now? So you don't worship God because he has blessed you or he wants to bless you. No. A worshiper goes to God and, and a worshiper does not say, Father, thank you for what you gave to me. No. That's not the worshiper. A worshiper says, Father, you are the king of kings. You worship God for who he is, not what he gives. Are you ready? Is it the robot people that calls him the Agbrada Guru? The Obenuta Guru? Okene Ochukome? Eh? And you are looking at me, I'm telling you to watch it. You are looking at me as if I came here to entertain. Do I look like an entertainer to you? If I want to entertain, I go to the world and make millions of naira. We are here because there is a crown waiting. Are you ready? Five minutes, you are going to build an altar where you are. 
you are going to cry to heaven forget about that neighbor standing close to you forget about this microphone in the next few minutes choirs get ready there is a fresh unction that is coming on you on this session are you ready now are you ready now now lift your hands begin to sing any song in your dialect that you know that edifies god and begin to worship him right now begin to worship him right now begin to worship him right now right now lifting hands a kalamata bowing is all we have where are the worshippers here where are the worshippers casting crown where are the worshippers lifting bowing hands a kalamata is all we have Worship us here. You wait on high. Oh, you wait on high. You wait on high. Hey, you wait, you wait on high. You wait on high. Hey, you wait, you wait on high. You wait on high. Look at the glory of God. Where you are, Maka. You wait, you wait on high. Join your hands together, lift your hands, all eyes closed, lift your hands. Keep round that back. Where are the oceans? Lift your hands, all over, lift your hands, all over. All eyes closed. Brande Koparian Shabada. An unction for global impact. Brande Lift your hands, everybody, all eyes closed. There is power here. 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 Kalama Tashama.
Lift your hands all over. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Sister, 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 fresh, fresh, fresh. You need a fresh oil. This is the time. You need a fresh unction. This is the time. This is the time. Ikapala. Take it. Take it fresh. Ikapariote. You are Yahweh. You need you need a fresh oil. God is telling me that He's giving 56 people the spirit of prayer. Akapashoka vendo kopo suprante ko vazi gelepo saya iga lift your hands. Okay. Sing it from the depth of your heart, say it. Again. Okay. 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 Okay.